Okay guys, that's it. She's all done. There's no better motivation than someone telling you it can't be done. But you're wasting time. You're wasting money. Well, this is my time. My money. If it's something you love, it's not a waste. You do you, I'll do me. Hey guys, Doomsday410, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be painting some calipers today. Um, go ahead and show you what they look like. Uh, maybe some of you have the same issue going on with yours right now. You painted them, painted mine like two years ago probably. Uh, pretty chipped up, banged up now. Uh, you can see some more down there, chipped up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and tackle this issue today and um, get these looking good again. Nice and bright red and clean and uh, shiny and all that good stuff. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. All right, guys, so for the materials and different things we're going to need today, uh, I may or may not use some or all of everything that I have sitting on this bench right here. Uh, we've got a wire brush. Obviously, these items here are for getting all the gunk and any flaky paint, things like that off of there. Toothbrush works really well, too, to get into some of those nooks and crannies for your just your regular dirt. And yes, this is the same toothbrush that I use in the morning. Dual purpose item here. Uh, some steel wool. Uh, pretty cheap stuff there. I had some 320 grit sandpaper left over from another project. I might need that. I might not. I'm not sure at this point. I'll know more when I get in there and get my hands on the caliper. And of course, when we start spraying, safety first, some goggles. Uh, it's got some respirator masks there. And then the paint that we're going to be using today. So we've got this duplicolor caliper paint, which stands up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you don't want to use just an, any regular old paint here, guys. Uh, you've got to use something that's made for high heat for the task. Um, Duplicolor VHT makes some good stuff. That's what I used last time. Um, Advance Auto didn't have that. I don't know if they sell it. But uh, paint code for this one, if we can get any focus here. Um, I'll just read it. BCP 100 Caliper Red Duplicolor. And... Then this stuff here, it actually says engine enamel gloss clear with ceramic. Now I know it says engine, but it also says withstands heat up to 500 degrees, just like the caliper paint. I saw another video where a gentleman used this stuff after three coats of red or whatever other color you want to use. And man, the caliper really popped. It really sealed them off. They got a nice, nice gloss finish to them. They look professionally done. So we're going to give this stuff a shot today. I did not use this last time. But if it turns out as decent as the other guy's video, um, I think I'll be real happy with it.
All right, guys, so a bit of a change of plans here. Um, and sorry if my voice sounds muffled. I've got a mask on right now. Um, got everything cleaned off pretty well, but then I was looking at my pistons here, um, caliber pistons, and they're kind of cruddy, man. So I thought to myself, I'm already under here. I've got all this stuff apart. I might as well just do it the right way. I'm still not gonna disconnect my brake line because I'm not trying to get in all that. But what I did do was pull this off. Um, so essentially, this was right here when you saw it before with the brake cal with the brake pads in it. Um, you see these holes right here. They screw into this hole and this hole. And good old Ford metric on a lot of things but for some reason this bolt is a 9 16 right here um, it'll trick you at first you'll think it's a 15 millimeter but there's a little wiggle there to 9 16 pop these off and they're just little just little short bolts so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna get a better better paint job out of this because I'll be able to pull these little metal clips off of here on both sides of this Take this off to the side, clean it even better now that it's off, and get a really good paint job on it. Uh, then, because my pistons are cruddy and I don't like the way they look, basically what I did was I hopped in the car, pumped the brakes like two times, I think, and I don't know if how well you guys can see that, but it makes these pistons come out just, just a little bit, maybe eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna put a shop paper towel down under here. I'm gonna spray with a little brake spray and then take my trusty toothbrush and scrub it off real good. And then we will take this little cheap thing here. It's a brake caliper compressor tool to compress those pistons back to flat. Now, um, a couple different ways you can do that if you have an old brake pad you can sit the old brake pad inside of there put this in hoping you guys can see this my gopro died and you just turn it turn this and it'll press that pad in and push those pistons in until they're flush and that's what you would do with brand new brake pads um my brake pads aren't brand new but i'm still going to do that because once the pistons are flush and I put everything back together. I'll just get in the car, pump the brakes a few times. It'll feel pretty loose at first, like the brake pedal will go almost to the floor. You'll be like, what's going on here? You just pump it a couple times and then those pistons are gonna work their way back out to the point where they're as far enough out as they need to be due to the width of your brake pad, essentially. And then when you drive down the road, you wanna brake a couple times just to make sure everything is, uh, you know, brake fluids, fluids pump in, brakes are back, pistons are where they need to be, all that good stuff. Uh, do a couple soft stops and then go a little bit faster, brake a little harder, do that a couple times, a few cycles of each. Pistons will work back to where they should be due to your brake thickness, brake pad thickness. Very similar to a, a break-in procedure for brand new brakes, uh, brand new brake pads and rotors and things like that. Uh, but you know, I figured I'm under here, might as well do it right. And that's all I'm gonna do. Got a shop towel in there. Got some uh, CarQuest brake cleaner. With a little piece here in the cap. Definitely have some good ventilation and a mask for this stuff, man. This is not the kind of shit you wanna be breathing in. I can tell you that right now. All right, little test spray. All right, we're good. So you don't need a ton of this stuff, man. It comes out pretty fast and it is potent stuff. Uh, you can see just where I blasted it real quick. I'll give the fumes a second to get out of here. Um, just where I blasted it real quick, you can see dirt flying off of it. So it is strong stuff, man. No joke. Um, it's called brake cleaner for a reason though. Don't be scared to use it on your 
brake system. That's what it's for. And the good thing about it is not only does it clean super well, um, it dissipates really fast. It'll dry up really fast. So I'm just gonna get in here, get as much of this contaminant off as I can. While it's still uh, wet, whatever you wanna call it. Anywhere I see some crud, I'm trying to get it out. None of this stuff is good for your car, so get as much of it as you can. And hopefully I'm not blocking the camera right now. All right, so it looks pretty clean, man. Um, comparative to where it was camera probably didn't pick it up too well but it was uh it was pretty cruddy man and I, I just didn't feel right about leaving it on there got it apart get it right put it back together simple as that All right guys, so we are ready. We got everything taped up here, here. I'm gonna be spraying right about here, so any overspray is gonna go into this area.
Okay, guys, that's it. She's all done. Uh, get the caliper back on. A uh, couple reminders. The bolts back right here, if you can see. The 15 millimeters, one up top, one in the bottom. Uh, torque those down to 85 foot-pounds. One's here. These are 25 foot-pounds uh, on the slider. I, I give them 25 and then like a quarter turn. Uh, it's just what I normally do. Uh, with the extra mile, obviously, lubed up the pins, um, clean the pistons really good, and uh, clean the back of the pads off, put some fresh grease in there just to keep everything from squeaking uh, here, here, and here. And then these metal brackets right here, there's a little bit up in there and down there just to keep everything from squeaking. Figure with, you know, uh, while I'm in here, might as well do some maintenance and get everything cleaned up, and I scraped that surface rust off the hub as well uh, so all set to put this tire back on i gotta go throw the caliper back on the other side real quick that one's done as well but i hope you guys enjoy it turned out to be a little bit longer than i was expecting since i went the extra mile and, and did some of these other things you're probably seeing a little bit of black here and there that's just from my hands being dirty i'll wipe that off before i put the tire back on but uh if you have any question guys let me know appreciate you watching doomsday 410 see you next time guys